All right, guys, so today we're going to be reviewing the Cat X Drop 3 BB Core Bat. We're going to have some college guys swing it, some high school guys swing it, all different ages, all right, all different skill levels. Former D1 player, we got some D3 college players. We want to thank Better Baseball for sending us these bats. Cat 10. Good barrel. Good pop. Light through the zone. Good bat overall. I had good barrel feel with it. Uh, I think the sweet spot's pretty big. You know, I think you have room to miss here and still get away with good exit velo off of it. Overall, just a really good bat. Oh, oh come on. Hit a bomb right here with this bat. Told you. Big sweet spot. This barrel's big. The whole bat's practically a barrel. That's gone. Definitely has a lot of juice when you get on the barrel. I'd buy this thing. Not the best bat I've ever used, but it's pretty, pretty damn close. That's probably a triple, honestly. I give you a double. When it's on the left side of the field? Yeah, you see how fast I run? <laughs> this bat's really balanced. <sighs> that ball's hit well. <sighs> yeah, so this bat's balanced. The grip stinks. There we go. Scoreboard! Over? Get that out of here. It's all right. Feels all right. Could go further. <laughs> all right. That's absolutely crushed. That feels good. Okay. I don't know. I feel like a, it. Like, did it really vibrate for you? Like, no. feels kind of stiff. Like, it doesn't feel like the normal cats. That's always a feel good right there. Go the other way. Oh, right. Oh, nice. That's a barrel, but it didn't really feel that good. <laughs> it's not vibrating like a cat, a cat nine would. I don't know if that feels like. It's all, it's all, it's all I actually like the cat nine more than the cat ten. Me too. I like the cat nine. See, that's, that's it. That's a bomb. That was a good barrel. I'll tell you something. It didn't feel that good. We're gonna be talking about the cat X that we just swung. But don't know what do you, what do you think? I mean, I thought it was, honestly, it was, it was okay. If I had to really give it a rating, it's high six, low seven. Nah. I mean, I Bro, did out get of some, out of 10, no I did get some shots in there. So maybe it's just me, maybe it's just me as a player, but I mean, I was hitting them. They were going, they just didn't really feel, I mean, I, I don't know. How did it feel for you? Did it I, feel like? I thought it was pretty, it felt pretty similar to most like aluminum bats that are out nowadays. I think I thought the, I got my hands through but I think the sweet spot is closer to the end more yeah. now, than the inside. Absolutely, the I, agree I, I agree with that. I agree with that. 100%. Yeah, if I, I, I felt like this jam, this was a jam spot, I like agree. The, which is weird. But they were going. The balls are flying. The there was juice on the bat for sure, but the best part of the bat was the end of the closer bat. to I, the end. Yeah, yeah, I think from the U to the C right here was the sweet spot of the bat. I agree. Then like the this U to the R. And I like benefits and cons like. Am I like if I'm a hitter and I'm thinking outside part of the bat, like chances are I'm gonna be out in front, like you cast the hand. Right, that's like, not what I want to exactly. do though. I mean, and again, that's not the swing that I right, have. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's I so I so I think we all agree that you know the it shows that it's a big barrel, but it's really not that big of a barrel. The yeah. barrel's really kind of this big right here. I think it was right still here. pretty big but barrel. It had personally, juice, man. personally, I, I thought it did I have thought, juice though. I thought it it's had a pretty, juice. I think it's a big barrel. It's just the best part of the barrels over here. I gave it an eight five. I thought the ball was carrying with the bat. I thought I'd miss hit one off the end, and it would still fly pretty far. I liked it. It wasn't the best bat I've ever swung, but it, it was good. <laughs> it's a good bat. What do you got to say? I got one thing to say. This grip. Garbage. Yeah. The grip is garbage. Yeah. The grip yeah. is garbage. We That's agree. a fact. Definitely yeah. get a new grip right away. Get the Marucci stick spray. Get it out here. Now, I'll tell you something. 
That's tick spray? That's good. That's, that's some good, good stuff. Good that's Marucci. some good stuff. Marucci does a good job right I will here. get that. That's but, competing with Tiger Stick, but, uh, I'll tell you that. We need to fix this uh, this uh, yeah. grip right here. So I didn't like the pop and exit view on this bat. I'm going to give it like a 4 out of 10. For me, pop, exit view, it was all right. It was hard to find the sweet spot, though. You know what I mean? Like, I was getting jammed on most of the balls. But I'll give it, when you did catch the sweet spot, it would go a little bit. So I'll give it, I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. I thought every time I hit the ball off the sweet spot towards the end of the bat, I thought the barrel feel was great. I mean, the pop and juice on it, I'd probably give it like a 8.4, 8.5. I don't give it a 9 because I feel like there are better bats that I've hit a ball harder with for sure. But when you did catch it, it kind of flew. So I'd give it a solid 8.4, 8.5. Exit velo. Okay, the bat did clearly have some juice. The balls are flying off the bat. Cool. I give it a 7-2 pop cool. exit velo. I think for someone saying the pop and exit velo was flying and giving it a 7-2, I think that's outrageous rating. I would give it an 8-7. Eight, 8-7. Seven. <laughs> eight, seven. This bat, the best part of the bat is the fact that it flies. I felt like I would get a ball off the end, fly off the handle, not quite as much as the end, but I like the pop, I like the bat. 8-7 on the uh, EV. For me, for the pop and exit velo, I would probably give it like a 9 because even if I didn't hit it off the barrel, it still flew, and the eggs be low, so fast. So yeah. This bat must be the best bat out there. Nine. I think it's better Nine than Voodoo. Nine for you. Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's disrespectful. Hot. That's hot, that's that's he thinks it's better than the Voodoo. Nah, that's not true. Oh, I can't hot. stand that's that, hot. man. Voodoo's this is good. Hot, can leave. The Voodoo's the Voodoo pop is over and Absolutely. No, it's not even close. Yeah, exactly like I kind of like the feel of the bat. It feels kind of nice. 8.2 it feels. Kind of, it's kind of light. It's not too heavy. 6.5 for feel. I couldn't find the barrel. I'm gonna go with a 7.8 here. I, I thought I got my hands through for the most part, but there were a few miss hits. 7.8 um, for me. So, you know, for the most part, I'd get my hands in, but if you didn't and you got beat, like you could feel it. But I like it balanced. I'm a balanced bat kind of guy. You know, contact hitter. So good juice for the way it fell. I'd give it a 7-8. We're going feel right here. I hated the feel. I'm not going to lie. The ball flew off the bat. Hated the feel. Uh, if I really had to give it a rating, it's got to be a 6-4. The feel was not my favorite part of the bat. I would, I'm with Danny probably. I still liked it. It was very well balanced. Felt light in my hand. Probably about a 7-7, seven, 7-8. Seven, seven, my favorite part of the bat was the pop, but I definitely liked it. Yeah, 7-7, seven, 7-8 seven, seven, for the feel. I give it probably like a 8, 5 out of 10. I like the grip though. I don't oh know. My. I know ah, oh my. Oh my. I, really I like, like this guy's but different. I like we that. probably got like, I want to say close to 200 swings roughly on this bat, first day out, right out of the wrapper, and like the grip is shot. <laughs> His numbers are high. Did it really feel good for you though? I mean, cool if that's the bat you like, man. It, 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 I'm not fair. knocking it. To be fair, I like it, bro. It's, it's, it's I like just it like too. the voodoo. It's just like a little bit heavier. All right, guys. So like we promised, we are going to be giving away one of the bats that we swung in today's video. Today, we're going to be giving away the 32-inch Marucci Cat X. If you guys want to win this bat, it's super easy to enter. All you have to do is like this video. Make sure you guys comment down below what bat you guys want us to review next. And make sure you guys are subscribed to the YouTube channel and following us over on Instagram. We're going to announce the winner in one week. So if you guys want to enter, make sure you guys do that. We're going to be reviewing all the new 2023 bats as they come out. So make sure you guys let us know what you want to see. And uh, we'll see you guys soon.